Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 11a, Damn the Particle, but there is salvation for the aggregate. A gust of wind is wild and free, but there are handcuffs on the storm. During the World War, no course of a single bullet could have been predicted absolutely, but any competent mathematician could have written the equations of the conflict as a whole. This is the attempt by the theologians of science to admit the uncertainty principle, and to cancel it. Similarly reason the scientists of theology. The single records of the Bible may not be altogether accurate, but the good, old book, as a whole, is immortal truth, says Dr. Charles Galton Darwin, in New Conceptions of Matter. We cannot say exactly what will happen to a single electron, but we can confidently estimate the probabilities. If an experiment is carried out with a thousand electrons, what was a probability for one becomes nearly a certainty. Physical theory confidently predicts that the millions and millions of electrons in our bodies will behave even more regularly, and that to find a case of noticeable departure from the average, we should have to wait for a time quite fantastically longer than the estimated age of the universe. This reasoning is based upon the scientific delusion that there are final bodies, or holes. Arthur B. Mitchell, of 472 McAllister Avenue, Utica, New York, goes out for the evening. It can't be said exactly what will happen to a single cell of Mr. Mitchell's composition, but every wink of an eye, or scratch of an ear, of this body, as a whole, can be foretold. But now we have a change of view, as to this body that had been regarded as a whole. Now Mr. Mitchell is regarded as one of many units in this community known as Utica. Now the admission is that Mr. Mitchell's conduct may be slightly irregular, but the contention is that the politics of Utica, as a whole, is never a surprise. But surprising things in Utica are reported. Well, Utica is only one of the many communities that make up the state of New York. But the state of New York? My own expression is that ours in an intermediate existence, poised, or fluctuating back and forth between two unrealizable extremes that may be called positiveness and negativeness, a hyphenated state of goodness-badness, coldness-heatness, equilibrium-inequilibrium, certainty-uncertainty. I conceive of our existence as an organism in which positivizing and negativizing manifestations, or conflicts, are metabolic. Certainty, or regularity, exists to high degree in the movements of the planets, but not absolutely, because of small, unformulable digressions, and negativeness exists to a high degree in the freaks of a cyclone, though not absolutely, because a still more frenzied state of eccentricity can always be thought of. My expression is that there are things, beings, and events that conform strikingly to regularized generalizations, but that also there are outrageous, silly, fiendish, bizarre, idiotic, monstrous things, beings, and events that illustrate just as strikingly universal imbecility, crime, or informulability, or fantasy.